Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I give you my top 10 IELTS writing tips. They're relevant for both the academic and general writing tests and will help you with task 1 and task 2. I also direct you to lots of related lessons which will give you all the information you need on topics covered in each tip. Tip 1. Read the question and instructions carefully. One of the most common reasons for a low score in the writing test is not answering the question correctly. The cause of this is not fully understanding the question and the instructions. The questions are not difficult to understand, but you do need to study their structures and know how to analyse them. There are three lessons that will help you specifically with this. Understanding academic task 1 questions understanding general task 1 questions and understanding task 2 questions. You'll find links to these and all the other lessons I mention in this video in the notes below the video. Tip 2. Plan your answer. Always spend a few minutes planning your answer before you start writing. There are three reasons for this. Planning saves you time. Planning leads to a more relevant answer and planning results in a better structure. If you plan your essay before you start writing, you'll already know what you're going to say and won't need to keep stopping to think about the next idea. This means that you'll be able to write much faster than if you don't have a plan. Planning also ensures that you include everything that the question requires so that you meet the marking criteria for task achievement which holds 25% of the marks. Furthermore, it will give your answer a more organised structure, which will gain you marks for coherence and cohesion. This marking criterion carries another 25% of the marks. Learn how to plan in these lessons. How to plan an IELTS Academic Task 1 essay. How to plan an IELTS letter. And how to plan a Task 2 essay. Tip 3. Know the answer structures. The great news is that you only need to learn two essay structures, one for task 1 and the other for task 2. These can be used for any question you might get. This is one of the most valuable writing tips I can give you. Sometimes you'll need to adapt them a little, but the same basic structure remains the same. However, they are easy to learn and with practice you'll soon be able to write high scoring answers within the time limit allowed. I cover essay structures on the planning pages and in the individual lessons on the different essay types. You'll find them all on the main IELTS writing page. For general writing task 1, study the lesson on IELTS letter structures. Tip 4. Understand the marking criteria. To get a high score in the IELTS writing exam, you need to know exactly what the examiner wants. So, an important step to achieving success is to understand the marking criteria. Here are the four skill areas you'll be assessed on. Task achievement, coherence and cohesion, vocabulary, also called lexical resource, and grammar. Each carries 25% of the marks. You can learn more about them in these lessons. Academic Writing Task 1, Letter Writing Tips and Task 2 Marking Criteria. Tip 5. Be familiar with the common topics. There are specific topics that come up regularly in each part of the writing test. If you practice answering questions on these subjects as part of your preparation, you'll be well prepared for exam day. You'll find lessons on all these common topics on the website, along with many sample answers. Start with these lessons. Academic Writing Task 1, Letter Topics and Writing Task 2. The next few IELTS writing tips concern the detail of your answers. Tip 6. Use synonyms and paraphrasing. You will need to use the key words from the question in your answer. Where possible, use synonyms, rather than just repeating the same words. 
This is essential for achieving a high score for lexical resource, which is vocabulary, which counts for another 25% of the total marks. The examiner will not be impressed if you just use the same words over and over again. You also need to know how to paraphrase. That is, say the same thing in different ways, using different sentence structures and using synonyms. This isn't just an IELTS writing tip, but also applies to reading, speaking and the listening sections of the exam as well. Check out the vocabulary section of the website for help. Tip 7. Write the correct number of words. Word count is something else you need to pay close attention to. For task 1, you must write a minimum of 150 words. For task 2, should be a minimum of 250 words. So that you don't waste valuable time counting every word, work out the average number of words you write per line and multiply this by the number of lines in your answer. Practice doing this during your preparation and you'll soon be able to quickly and accurately estimate your word count. If you write fewer words than required, you'll lose marks for task achievement. However, you will not necessarily get a higher score for writing more than the minimum number of words. Marks are given for quality of what you write, not quantity. When writing sample answers, I aim for around 160 to 180 words for task 1 and 260 and 280 words for task 2. This enabled me to include all the information required without going off topic. Tip 8. Be specific. Every part of your answer should be directly related to the question. The question will tell you exactly what to write about. So make sure that you stay on topic and don't write about anything else. For example, for a question about the impact of fossil fuels on global warming, write about this specific issue, not global warming in general. Tip 9. Carefully manage your time. The time allowed for task 1 is about 20 minutes. For task 2, you're allowed 40 minutes. Planning your answer before you start writing will help you to complete your essay or letter in this time allowed. Task 2 contributes twice as many marks to your overall score as task 1. And for this reason, my advice is to do task 2 first. Most people do task 1 first and overrun on the 20 minutes it should take them. This doesn't leave them enough time to do task 2 properly. And since task 2 is worth double the marks, they are in effect throwing away valuable marks. Tip 10. Check your answers. You'd be amazed at how many candidates fail to check their answers and lose marks for silly little mistakes that they could easily have spotted had they read through their work. I always find several mistakes in the sample answers I write despite English being my native language. This is partly a time management issue as you need to leave a couple of minutes at the end to complete your check. And my final tip, practice, practice, practice. I hope you found these tips helpful. Do study all the lessons I recommended. There are links to them all in the notes below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.